In other news, China is winning more support for the launch of the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. The IMF and the World Bank have pledged to cooperate with key allies of the U.S., including Korea, considering their participation. Song ji Sun has the details. With some 30 countries on the roster as founding members, Beijing is garnering international support for its Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, set to begin operations by the end of the year. World Bank President Jim Yong Kim said the two organizations are discussing how they can work together, while the leaders of the IMF and the Asian Development Bank said they would be happy to cooperate with the new regional lender. Beijing has previously indicated that the AIIB would seek to complement, not compete with, the existing international institutions. However, Washington has cautioned other countries against joining, citing concerns about transparency and Beijing's increased influence in the region. It recently proposed co-financing project with existing development banks, saying it welcomes new multilateral institutions that strengthen the international financial architecture. Meanwhile, Washington's key strategic allies in the region are considering joining the AIIB. Japan and Australia have shown interest but have yet to decide, and Korea is expected to announce its decision this week before the AIIB's deadline of March 31st. Seoul is reportedly seeking a share that's high enough to allow it to participate in decision-making. China has offered to fund up to 50 percent of the $50 billion fund. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News.